Hey guys, welcome again to Fire Alarms and Such, and today this is just going to be a little short video of keeping with the simplex 4099900 dual action adjustable pole station. But today we're just going to pull it once because we're using a brake rod. So yeah, we're going to be setting off a brake rod today. So without further ado, let's get going. So first we're going to turn the system to silence so we don't trip the alarm when we open up the pole station. We'll get the key and open it. Oops, sorry. And where you want to put the brake rod is there's these two little divots here. And you just want to set the brake rod in. And most brake rods are made out of plastic, or uh, not plastic, sorry, this one is plastic. Uh, most are made out of glass, so when you pull them, some glass will come out. But this one's plastic, so hopefully we won't have. Uh, so hopefully we'll have little to no shrapnel. And so basically, what happens is when you pull the pull station, I have my hand on the lever like I'm pulling it. That arm goes back, and then there's another arm below it that comes up. See how it lifted up the brake rod? But this is locked in the station, so the brake rod doesn't move. It brakes like the name implies. So you close it back up in here. And an easy way to tell if like you see a pull station in public place, now do not tamper with these pull stations or anything, I'm not responsible for your actions, but you can look in and you may be able to see the brake rod right under the, the pull lever. So you can see that white rod with that hash in the middle, that's the brake rod and that hash is the, is the breaking point. But you can see when I pull it, you can see how that front arm, like the brake rods in the way. And this does make the pull station a lot harder to pull. So that it does prevent a lot of like tampering and accidental trips. Like you had to be pretty serious to want to pull it. And so when I pull it, I am going to be having the NAX running. And the NAX today, we still have the Gen Pex Commander 3 set on high uh, temporal 3 at 110 candela the EST Genesis fixed 15 candela fixed temporal 3 and don't worry I I have one more I have another knack coming and I'm and I have another for sure two pull stations coming and I'm working on getting another two pull stations on the way um, so I guess without further ado let's begin so we're going to put the system in active. I'm going to hang up my keys under the <laughs> fire key spot. That's where I hang my keys. And so let's pull it. So I'm going to get you level with it so you can see the brake rod. And then three, two, one. Push and pull. So did you hear that really loud bang when I pulled it? That was the brake rod breaking. Oh, here you, you just heard them. You just hear them fall. They just fell into the bottom of the pull station when I fiddled with the lever. But it broke, and it was it was a lot harder to pull. So if we open it up, oop, one fell through. There's one half of the brake rod. It's kind of like a. It's a really kind of dense plastic it's one that shatters not bends so it, it's like it's real kind of light and brittle brittles the word i'm going for and then the other one fell fell out of the, oh here it is in a little wood trap so yeah here are the two pieces of the brake rod so that's that's the whole brake rod right there that's where it snapped and so now if you pull it a lot easier it's, it's a lot easier pulling you don't hear that big bang anymore so that was it that was pulling a brake rod thank you and have a nice day